my channel and welcome to the day called watering day and as, as you can see there is a huge display of plants that are just currently being watered and I thought I'm gonna make a video about it and I'm gonna update you what's happening and I'm gonna remind you or tell you again if you haven't watched my channel before what kind of plants I have and there's some things I would like to show you and yeah let's get started so uh, currently as you can see my plants are standing on the table some of them have already been watered and they're just drying up so i can put them back in the position some of them standing in containers with water and um from the new things that happen are happening right now i can tell you that the most exciting news is that my Paphiopedalum Ho Chi Minh is actually finally starting to do something. I cannot show it to you because I am not going to making a surgery on the leaves but there is a new growth between those leaves and it's growing so I'm very very happy about it because I can't wait to see some new foliage and from the other things this is the Paphiopedalum uh, Rosy Dawn which I absolutely adore and my friend Olivia first showed me the pictures of it and that was the first time I actually really got into it and this is the plant that I've purchased quite a while ago as a small gamble from a grower in Netherlands and he had a massive plant on a clump and I bid it for it I spent a bit of money but because the plant was absolutely huge, I was able to divide it into nine different separate plants. I sold the eight of them. Uh, all the money got back to me and I earned a bit more, uh, which I put into savings. And I left this one for myself because I thought it was the healthiest looking in terms of it had three new growths. It had something that looked for me like a flower sheath. And I was very very happy with it. It came out that because of all the stress the, this fan had because it was reported and then it was transported to a new place and all, all that jazz. Um, the flower sheet dried up but I'm not worried because there is as I said there's three new growths so you can see they're developing they're getting bigger and hopefully by next year I will have some blooms. So I'm very very happy about this. What I wanted to show you because I have three dendrobiums. One is an absolute bush and I'm not going to even put it in this picture because it was watered during the weekend. But I have two dendrobium phalaenopsis which I wanted to grow because I very very like the flowers. I've seen them on pictures more than once and I absolutely love them and I bought them from orchidin diffusion and this is the dendrobium liberty white and this one here this is the dendrobium gerag wax and what is very interesting those are very similar those are dendrobium phalaenopsis hybrids and as you can see they are the same ex exactly the same age but there's a huge difference between the actual plants they this one here has very small short and thin canes and this one here has very long and those canes are going to get very very fat at one point now from other things that are happening this is my third cattleya uh, this is cattleya galaxy pointer tropical pointer galaxy which has a flower sheath and it had this flower sheath for the last three months and it's nothing happening with it however I'm still full of hope there's another growth coming in there you can probably see this and yeah there is more than because I know there's another one somewhere in the corner hiding which I'm not going to be able to put the camera in and my other one which was my birthday gift from my other half has three new growths and I'm really hoping that at one point one of them is going to give me at least one flower 
Now, going further, you probably remember this gorgeous girl. This is the Phalaenopsis hieroglyphica crossed with Mariae. And this is the light hybrid because you also have the dark one. And this one had a small surgery done recently because it was suffering from nutrient deficiency and was very much weakened by the fact that it had seven flower spikes and all of them were in bloom. So I cut it four of the eldest ones and left only three for the plant to recover and I increased the amount of nutrients in its diet. Now this guy here you probably can remember if you watched my videos a bit back this Cattleya was in a much smaller pod and this is the Cattleya varsevici semi alba. This beautiful beautiful orchid is getting bigger and bigger and this is the newest growth so it's doing really well it's really enjoying the sun it has a new small growth coming up so the next one I'm not sure but there might be like one in a million possibility that I might have a flower at least hopefully one now um, if I go around here, oh, you probably know, remember this. If someone of you remember plants by foliage, this is the Paphiopedulum Libvunda crossed with Glaucophyllum. And it's maturing its two new fans, which are going to put flowers soon. This is the Aliciara Evening Colors, the Gleaming, which uh, by some weird reason decided to abort its flower on this growth. Uh, and grow another growth which I'm I'm not really worried about because I had a beautiful display of flowers already and I want this this guy to grow healthy and big so I have another two growths just one here and another here so I'm very very happy about it so I'm not gonna complain I'm just gonna let it grow now this is my Paphiopedalum Niveum um, when I purchased it, it sadly had a flower that was badly damaged and I had to cut it. I didn't enjoy it at all. And it has two new growths and hopefully by next year something will happen and I will have some blooms. Now, those three paps you can see here, they've been in the Lacusa pods. However, I took them out of the Lacusa pods because um, in the new location, I've noticed that uh, although they were very, very happy for the first eight months, suddenly the lower foliage started to die and rot. And in my opinion, it's because uh, those type of pedalums they do well in it. But uh, the lower foliage, because it's constantly moist from the bottom, will start rotting. And it's not a pragmipedium. Uh, so I decided to report it back to Bark to save it, uh, especially this one because this is the Paphiopedulum armeniacum crossed with Colopakingi and I don't want to lose this because a beautiful yellow, ye beautiful yellow multifloral spike and I don't want to lose this because um, this was given to me as a gift and I really hope to see this bloom. Now this one is the uh, Rothschildianum crossed with Locochilium and also I took it out of the Lacusa because I've noticed there were some changes to the lower foliage and I wasn't happy and I just didn't want to lose it and I, because I love everything that has Rothschildianum in it and I want to save every single Paphiopedulum that I have that has it in parentage. And this is the the third one, which was the Paphiopedulum del Rossi crossed with Rothschildianum and Pinocchio. It's grown two leaves since it was in Lacusa and hopefully it will grow bigger and yeah, I'll just give it time to develop. Now from other interesting things I wanted to show you, you probably remember I was talking about my cymbidium. So this is the cymbidium I was rotating with cold and hot temperatures during the day and night and the flower spike developed quite quickly within the last two weeks. So as you can see now there is some yellow buds so yet yeah, something might have blasted but I'm quite happy with it 
and I'm really really hoping that I'm gonna get at least one flower and this will mean that I know how to grow a cymbidium and it still has flowers so I'm still very happy about that I can enjoy them and now let's go to the the star of the night so this is the Paphiopedilum Claire de Lune uh, obviously you probably remember it and I'm trying to zoom on it but because the flowers are quite can I can I can I yes I can so I have three flower spikes all of them are in bloom and you can probably see there's a fourth one so I'm going to make an ID video about this one quite soon just to show you the beautiful blooms as you can see yes this is the true color of the flowers they're very deep apple green and as also you can see the absolutely beautiful and stunning foliage now let's go to the actual shelf because I have orchids that already been bloomed uh, watered sorry so you probably remember this golden guy this is the Paphiopedalum bit borrow and it's absolutely stunning the uh, the sepal petal finely uh, sorry dorsal petal finely shaped so it looks like it's supposed to there's a lot of new growth there's another new uh, growth that is maturing so I might have another flower spike soon here in the corner is the Paphiopedalum Lianzoni hiding I ripped off the petal because the dorsal petal because I was trying to pollinate it and I'm hoping something will happen there this is the American hybrid uh, which is developing its spike hopefully it will be in open soon um, in the corner you can probably see the Paphiopedalum Pinocchio yellow together with my two Pragmipediums which seem to be doing well now you probably have and probably decisively you have noticed this big yellow lump well this is the uh, Paphiopedalum hybrid I received last January this one had two flower spikes and both of them got frostbitten and damaged and die off and it was in the Lacusa for the last year and this is a flower spike I will probably report it quite soon because I'm also worried about it with the bottom uh, foliage getting too much moisture but yeah as you can see yeah this flower spike is huge the actual spike down here the one that holds the flower is very very big and fat and from all those plants the other ones are uh, left here I haven't watered them yet so those are the near flower sized ones and the last cutlery. and on the top floor of the shelf we have the phalaenopsis which have absolutely huge and long flower spikes which are developing and hopefully they will bloom soon and in total count there will be six or seven flower spikes so yeah as I said welcome to the fl uh, watering day and this is how the watering day looks for me there is quite a lot of stuff happening um, not too much nothing extreme but yeah if you probably are wondering what, what I use to water my plants well I do use this which is the miracle grow orchid plant food concentrate I started using that recently because I like the fact that it's, it has the pump and you don't have to worry about the measurements and also I use this series which is the Vitax orchid feed and it comes both in orchid bloom feed and orchid growth feed you can find it on Amazon and most most of the times you will be able to find it in your local nursery it seems to be very good uh, I've been using it for my orchids for the last six months and they've been doing really really well I can say that after looking on my Paphiopedalum Claire de Lune which is going absolutely mad with four flower spikes so I would recommend trying it if you're looking for the actual list of the nutrients in here 
you can find it and if you're interested just look for it on Amazon and all the details will be revealed to you anyway guys that's it from me I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to go back to watering my plants and sorting them out on the shelves have a good night and if you like this video please do press the like button and subscribe to my channel for any more updates and see you soon guys bye bye